My name is Mark Purdy. I'm the superintendent for Commodore Builders, and we are in the middle of constructing the new Malden Police Headquarters right on uh, Route 60 here in Malden. Behind me is the entrance of the new building, um, and around us you can see we have just put down the binder for the new parking lot. Uh, this parking lot will house um, nearly 100 vehicles and also gains access to the Sally Port where the uh, officers will be able to un safely unload any prisoners that they're bringing into the station. So as we're approaching the building, I'll bring you into the Sally Port where the officers would be able to come in and safely unload prisoners to bring into the detention area where they actually log in the prisoners and um, we can take a look at the facility. Right now we're using this area for storage. As you can see, we have some of the finished items still boxed up out here, but this is where the officers will drive in with the cruiser and be able to go right out through the other way when they're done unloading their prisoners. Coming in here, you can see this is the detention area and this is actually the booking station over here to my right. This is where they'll actually bring in each individual um, book them, fingerprint them, and prepare them to go into one of the holding cells. So these cells are built like a maximum security cell. They have a full steel ceiling, um, and then separate contained sink and toilet combination made of stainless steel, all state-of-the-art equipment inside this facility. So one of the things that's a nice feature in this area is they went with the high-end epoxy floors which make cleaning not only a nice looking product but very durable, easy to clean up and uh, these are also in the locker rooms upstairs, it's a different color but uh, a really nice feature for this building. So this would be one of the handicapped cells, if there's a handicapped prisoner as you can see they're much larger. And in here, the ceilings haven't been painted, so you're able to see the raw steel ceilings. But essentially, these are built um, just as a maximum security prison would be built. So now we're out in the general work area. Behind me was the, the section where the officer in charge will be located. He has a clear view of the detention area behind us, <clears throat> as well as the main dispatch area, which we'll go into shortly. Um, something else I wanted to point out was the evidence storage. Unfortunately, I have all the lockers covered right now just to protect them uh, while we're doing our finishes in the area so nothing gets damaged. But what's nice about this locker setup in comparison to what is at the existing station is they have to access everything from the exterior, only from the hallway. Here what's nice is they install the product from the front and there's actually access inside the room as well. There's um, also a refrigerator in here, small refrigerator for the rape kits, also accessible from both sides, which they don't have in the old facility. Uh, we also have a high density file storage room. Will there be a, an elaborate uh, fileage, uh, file system set up in this room with tracks in the floor? These will slide and uh, actually give you more uh, accessibility to the many files that you'll have on, on this site. I'm gonna quickly bring you into the patrolman's roll call room. And in this room, as you can see, there'll be a small kitchenette area, there'll be a sink, refrigerator, a place that they can take a break in here, but this room will also be used for morning roll call. And that is just outside the dispatch area, which I will walk you into next. Out here in the hallway, these two cubbies will be filled with mailboxes for each officer will have their own mailbox for any correspondence. So it's hard to see right now because we, some of the guys have their tools here, but this is a three person dispatch desk, uh, much larger I think than what you have at the existing station. There'll be monitors mounted above these windows. And as I had mentioned before, the officer in charge will be located right behind that window. 
so he has clear vision of the public area as well as the detention area. So here we are, one of the main features of this building is this lobby. And as you see above us, we have a lot of natural light coming in. They've added this beautiful skylight, as well as all of this glass, this curtain wall system, which really makes it a much more inviting uh, place to come. And this gives a, a more open concept, a more inviting view of the police officers. So the section we're standing in right now is the actual main lobby that you would enter. And uh, right in this section, there'll be a nice, beautiful section of curtain wall glass with the public entrance desk, with a couple of cubbies they can access uh, to the officers through this glass station here with the dispatch over here to my left. Coming through the main entrance, we have what's called the community room, which in hopes they will use for multiple uh, public functions. There's actually gonna be a pedestal up here. There'll be seating out in this area. Uh, we got a nice inviting high ceiling in here. There'll be some decorative acoustic clouds that will hang down from the ceiling um, that serve you know, multiple pur purposes, not just uh, aesthetics, but for acoustics as well. And once again, you get this beautiful light, natural light coming through all of this glass. Yeah, so in order to enjoy the actual open concept that we have here, one thing that the architect added is one of the main hallways that services all the office, office space upstairs, they decided to open this up so you can actually look down into this open area and it just gives it a more inviting feeling to the atmosphere at the station. So we're servicing the second floor here by stair one, which is at the rear of the building or the north elevation. The front of the building at stair two is on the uh, Eastern Avenue side, we're painting that right now, so we're coming up this side. And along this back corridor, one of the main features for the police officers is this uh, phys ed room or exercise room. And once again, the architect in his design incorporated a lot of natural light and decided to put this nice row of storefront windows at the top. There'll be a combination of all new equipment coming in as well as uh, some of the um, existing equipment from the existing police station. From here, we'll take a walk through the locker room. And with 100 full-time officers, this locker room is a very good size. Once again, I have the floor covered. But uh, you can see, as I showed you downstairs in the cell area or detention area, we have this beautiful epoxy floor. You know, nice aesthetics to it, but very durable and easy to clean. Right now, we currently have most of the finishes covered just due to the fact we don't want anything getting damaged uh, during the construction phase. These are the shower stalls. This larger one is a handicap stall, a couple of smaller shower stalls, much nicer than what the existing station has. Everything's state of the art in this building. The HVAC unit, you have actual more control in each office space, which I know in the old station that was non-existent. Now we're walking into um, the chief's office which is located at the southwest elevation. And uh, they, in, in um, keeping with the theme of being open to the public and more transparent to the public, once again, a large curtain wall that allows a lot of natural light, a lot of visibility. So the chief is actually seen during his daily activities in his office. So next I'll walk you down to the other end of the corridor. Along the way we'll pass several offices for people. We have uh, a couple of smaller training rooms. We have another um, high density file storage room up here on the second floor. Once again we'll have embedded tracks in the floor uh, which gives you the capability of sliding the cabinets. Uh, back and forth gives you a uh, larger capacity for this room. 
And as I had mentioned before, when we were standing downstairs in the lobby, you can now take advantage. We're up on the second floor. You can look down into the main lobby and the community center and just, you know, really enjoy the fact that you got all this great natural light coming into this space. And one thing that uh, the design crew decided to do, which was a smart move, is the original design did not have glass on this wall. And this is just a, a conference room for each department to, uh, to utilize when they need to. But what was done was this, this window opening was added to incorporate the natural light into this room when needed. Uh, whenever the projector's being run or whatever, there's actually window treatments going in here. They'll be able to black these windows out and utilize the uh, projector. Right next door, we're entering the uh, detective suite. And each detective, they have their office that branches off this main suite. And this really um, is a lot different than the other station where I believe most of these offices were separated just due to how the office situation was set up down there. This brings them all together and they can collaborate on their cases and it just makes it easier that they're actually all housed in the same area. And in this section they do have their own um, conference room. So now we're heading down to the first, back down to the first floor. And uh, just going to take you quickly down to the server room. And that's basically where all the uh, communication comes into this building. So all the 911 service, all your tell data uh, comes into this room. Now right now there seems to be a little bit of room in here, but once uh, every trade starts bringing in the proper equipment racks and cabling boxes, this room fills up very quick. But this is really the heart of the communication of the uh, local police station. As you can see above us, we have all these cable trays. That's how they are able to route all the cabling throughout and keep everything organized. Because uh, as I said, this is a tight area with a lot of equipment. Okay. That being said, we'll head back out into the main lobby. And this was just a brief overview of uh, what's happening inside uh, the police station today.